uh, now we're continuing for this uh, second one and it's the need of the software here. And, and this section covers the available software, like why we use software and also the modules and what is that. So as you know that now there are quite many software here, like as you can see just for image analysis and there are different types there and the one that is kind of uh, been used for a while, uh, I think it's uh, here, image G. And there are some other that is quite well known, like Elastic, and then also Cell Profiler here. And like you have options regarding this software. But uh, yeah, each software has uh, its own kind of modules and pipelines. So this is the um, expectation when it comes to image analysis. Like you have the images and you put it in the software and you get the results and ready for the article or what uh, other uses that you want to have. Uh, but in fact, like it has a different kind of, uh, or we need to find our own self that uh, uh, in each software, it has the components or like modules that we need to kind of uh, get it or put it within a pipeline here, or I can put it as in a box and then you put your image go through like from one module or component here like to another and another or maybe you just need like one of them and then you get the results so but you have to figure it out by yourself because uh, different image behave differently and it's, it's very specific uh, for uh, the use but of course, you can uh, find the tutorials, uh, documentations that will help with your uh, image analysis. And um, yeah, I read uh, this uh, book. It's quite nice to start if you are uh, start doing an image analysis from Mira and La Dohe here. Like they put the, some examples and how we put the available components in the software. Uh, into a workflow and then you can have a pipeline that can help you with the, your image but uh, there are some here of uh, like some examples regarding the modules that you can use first the filters and uh, how to segment the objects or what, how to select your objects and uh, of course, there is a, a image math there as well. And if you've like uh, segmented or like selected your objects, then you can measure uh, the objects. And at the end, uh, you might not want to analyze only one image. So you need to uh, do the analysis uh, for uh, quite uh, files. So uh, you, you should do this uh, batch processing. And the first here is that uh, the modules. So you might remember about uh, these table. Uh, it contains the lookup tables, uh, it contains information about the pixels. And yeah, the filters is basically uh, try to uh, help you with the uh, transformation of the, the lookup table, whether it's uh, multiplied or like uh, any other. But here, there are some example like the mean, median, and Gaussian filter that is usually used to uh, fix your uh, pixels. And uh, I have one example here about the median and how to measure it. So basically, if we uh, talk about the pixels, then here, uh, there's an example of nine blocks. And from uh, these blocks, uh, well, we just define it as from A to I, and then the one here, just in the middle, like we define it as uh, H, I, J. Here, there is an example of the median uh, filter illustration that uh, uh, when it comes to the this uh, nine blocks, like it has its uh, own value that you can see here, then, uh, we calculate the median value and transform uh, the middle one 
as the median value that we have calculated and uh, it goes towards like uh, the size of the blocks or windows that uh, uh, you want to have this filter on so yeah that's just a uh, uh, example so if it's a median uh, or a mean or like other like Gaussian it has its own uh, calculations and the second module is uh, segmentation so uh, basically this module is one of the the most important module that we can be used like to segment or to select your objects and basically um, it divide like uh, the image pixels into a specific uh, regions and then you will have the your objects and it can be based on the similarity of the pixels or like discontinuity of the uh, pixels and here uh, for instance the uh, in the similarity there is a thresholding how these things work is that it tries to partition the image into a similar or known criteria I'll uh, tell you in a few seconds and the discontinuity here uh, it's based on the isolated point and yeah it's it's a bit hard to imagine these things but uh, yeah as you know about lines and edges so uh, this segmentation can help you uh, when you have uh, this kind of variable so about the thresholding uh, I'll make it simpler here that uh, uh, the easiest way to describe this when you have the uh, histogram like uh, the example I put it at the beginning of the se sections is that uh, sometimes it has this kind of uh, curve right and uh, how the thresholding works is that you can just uh, put the value that the, the value that more than uh, these lines then it will be uh, for instance an A, A object or uh, uh, values or pixels less than uh, this line then it goes as the other object so here you have two objects the first one is the background and the second one is the object itself but uh, yeah the thresholding can work with a like for a different kind of uh, histograms and this is just the ideal kind of histogram you would like to have and uh, you'd like to segment and in some cases like uh, it has a uh, different types of thresholding you want to apply in your image the first one uh, like for instance here the first one here is the uh, global thresholding so you put uh, one threshold here uh, to select uh, between uh, two objects for the whole image and there is a, a local thresholding that it will like help you to define the uh, threshold within the sub images and there is also an adaptive uh, thresholding that it consider uh, if you have an image here like it will have consider or partition this one into uh, some blocks and then based on the blocks it defines the thresholding and it goes the same with a different uh, set of image so uh, yeah uh, so far, uh, it really depends. If the image is homogeneous, like they are the same, then the global should work uh, better. And if there are some changes or like shift or like uh, different sizes, in, like for instance, for droplets, then the local and adaptive will be uh, more useful. And this is just uh, an example if for the uh, global thresholding that uh, if you have this image right here then you can implement uh, the global thresholding usually there are some other, like algorithms that's already there and it's quite a lot you just need to optimize what's available there and if uh, you want to segment this image like here instance uh, you can have some uh, words and then some backgrounds and yeah uh, you can just select I I don't think 
that you uh, should try to uh, define a specific pixels for the like starting uh, uh, segmenting your image. And yeah, there are some uh, quite famous uh, algorithm like Otsu, and also there are some others. Uh, I use or I put uh, some thresholding here that is available in a uh, uh, user-friendly software cell profiler and you can uh, try to check other kind of algorithm for thresholding. And then the next one is the uh, discontinuity and here there's an uh, examples that uh, yeah to make it easier if you have this uh, image with uh, uh, these uh, two different types or like white between two kind of gray area here. So basically the type of pixels are discontinued or has significant change. That's why like uh, uh, this can be explained by using the derivative operators. Again, and uh, these can be seen from the representative figure and the segmentation is good if you are looking for a specific pattern like lines or dot. I'll go uh, directly to the examples here that uh, uh, there is an image with the uh, uh, ceilings here that can be distinguished kind of easier with our own eyes. But uh, uh, if we put it, put the pixels in a matrix that uh, especially uh, in this part, then it just need to be transformed from uh, one axis to another. And you can just have uh, this kind of nice segmentation between one object and the other objects. And yeah, each setting has its own uh, purpose and there are some uh, other modules that can be used, not just uh, 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 this edge detections, but maybe some lines or like uh, other settings. And one of the most useful one is also this module uh, that segment between uh, one object and another and the principle here is that uh, it has these uh, uh, catchment basin and then uh, between the two catchment basin there is this kind of uh, uh, watershed line that will be implemented to se segment between one or uh, and another one so there if uh, we implement this one in an image that uh, you have uh, this kind of uh, object that is di distinguished by uh, the background and the objects itself and or whether he inverted this one so we can see it clearly here between the background and the objects and once it's segmented between the background and the object you can segment within the object using uh, these kind of uh, principle, water set principle. So yeah, and that was uh, the examples. And of course you can do math in uh, uh, image pixels, like addition, subtraction, divisions, depending on uh, uh, the one that you needed and if it's like uh, not just between one object and another, but it's also between one image and another. So yeah, usually the commands would like include these n or x or or etc. And once you have the objects or detected objects, you can just measure them based on the pixels. But also there are some other uh, tools, for instance, there's a shade analysis if you want. In our case, the droplets, then circle, aspect ratio, the location, and many more. And this is just the example to show you whether you want to include the whole pixels or the shapes or like other contour and stuff. Okay. And then once you have like one optimum kind of modules or pipeline you have uh, constructed, then uh, it comes to the uh, batch processing. So basically one pipeline 
and then you uh, use this pipeline to uh, process the whole image and there are quite many software out there and whether it needs a scripting or just uh, clicking some buttons but yeah sometimes it's just uh, reorganizations of uh, uh, how you process like your images that was all and and you've learned some about software and the modules that is helpful to process uh, your image. I will go to the next session.